Hi, um, just a quick update on the longbow I'm making. I started to shape it. The dimensions I pulled off the internet to give me my rough English longbow dimensions um, just didn't translate onto this piece of wood I had. So I'm further away from my initial goal of making an English uh, longbow than I first thought. Um, I adapted them and I am now in the process of shaping uh, the actual uh, stave itself. Um, I've used a machete, I've got a plane and a rasp. Um, it's not, shall I say, looking the most pretty at the moment. Um, I didn't video that first part because I was rushing between making a few sticks. So I just wanted to get um, a little bit of it done. Um, I wasn't actually going to uh, film the, any of this, but I thought, you know, I, I filmed taking the stave. I'll start taking a few little, shall we say, documentary um, videos of how it's going. So I'll just quickly show you where I am at the moment. Well, you can see that a fair bit of wood has come off already. Uh, obviously, that's with the plane, the rasp and the actual um, machete. Um, just a standard machete to take the um, worst of it down. And then I went to the rasp. And then I'm on a block plane. And to be fair, I could have probably bypassed the rasp and gone to the block plane. I'm surprised how efficient that is actually working out on this uneven surface. Right, as you can see, I've started to get the, uh, should we say, dimensions going up to um, the centre of the longbow. Uh, kind of together. It's coming down through. There's a lot of work, so you'll have to forgive what it looks like. And this is obviously my first one. The other, um, should we say, leg or arm hasn't had no work done yet. And you can see that is looking really rough. I'm probably going to turn that over and give that bit of a going over. Just to stop myself getting disheartened with what it looks like at the moment. So I'm going to crack on with this leg here now and try to pull something a bit more further back on that. <clears throat> I started to get this uh, arm or leg down. Um, I made a bit of a, a rough or real bad job with the machete. Next time, I shall probably not be quite so aggressive. I tried to get it all done within sort of like 10 minutes, taking the meat off, which meant I've cut into a lot of places I didn't want to cut. But hey, I'm, I, that's one lesson I've learned. So with the plane, you can see I'm just trying to bring back some resemblance of flatness on this leg. The uh, plane is actually doing not too bad a job in doing so, um, but I've made a lot of work here for myself just by being too aggressive with the machete. Um, yeah, my first uh, lesson learned is um, even though I've seen people hacking and chopping away on YouTube videos, um, they obviously know a bit more. Right, you can see where I've got to with uh, those few passes coming over that arm. Um, yes, uh, obviously this is looking a bit of a mess compared to somebody who knows what they're doing firsthand, but. Um, I'm gonna. I'm determined to get this to fire an arrow. So, uh, yeah, I've got to clean up the other side now and have a go on that and take a bit more meat off down here. So here you can see. Um, this is my, should we say, initial shaping, getting uh, underway here, and I'm just trying to bring it in. Um, I can see I'm going to have to have a lot of practice at this. But hey, um, like I said, I'll follow this through and uh, see where it takes me. Um, strangely, I'm quite intrigued to see if this in itself will fire an arrow, even though I can see this is a extremely poor quality job so far. Um, rushed, um, but um, like I said, I will be able to pull it all back in with a plane. This is just getting the rough shape together at the moment. 
Um, I've gone over to the rasp now. Um, this is allowing me to actually get a little bit better shape actually than the plane. The plane managed to get me back to a starting point from, should we say, a near disaster with the um, machete. Um, not really the tool that, uh, that, that was the issue. It was quite simply me. So all I'm doing now is, um, as I believe to be reasonably correct, I'm just trying to just take a little bit off and get this little bit more married up a little bit and looking a bit better. And when you look down it, just a little bit more of a flow on the lines. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna push with hard with this one at the minute. And I'm very conscious of like when I'm stick making, something might be doing a, a fantastic job. And if it's taking too much off in the way of wood, there's always that danger of the finishing side of it and um, it could be just taking so much off that um, you end up with um, a lot of finishing to do to pull back all the the, the processing marks the gouges and uh, scars from taking that wood from the stave so you know I'm very conscious of that um, I'll bring it back in here so you can see that and you can see I'm just taking this off and I'm, I'm trying my best to do it by eye as well. Um, like I said, I've got no technology with like uh, gauges or anything like that. But um, I'm just trying to bring back a bit of a shape that looks kind of something that you're going to be able to work with. And, and to be fair, it's, I'm, I'm more happy with this than I thought um, <laughs> earlier. So, um, yeah, um, if you feel like you're going totally wrong, uh, I can honestly say from my experience, just the, on this small bit of experience, keep sticking with it because it's not ruined till it's totally ruined and you might yet get someone out to fire an arrow. Um, I've got to take a fair bit off here at the moment. Um, yeah, so let's get down to that. Take that. Yeah, there's a lot of wood coming off there. And a lot needs to come off. Um, to be honest with you, as a stick maker, I actually thought this was going to be quite a easy task. Um, but yeah, there's a different set of eye parameters you're using. So yeah, don't fool yourself that this is going to be an easy task if you work with wood. Obviously working with wood makes things a lot easier with the hat of using tools. But um, yeah, it is kind of a different art form. So right, as you can see, that's beginning to come through here. Need to get over on this side and do a bit. Then I'm going to spin it around and do the opposite side. I'm not going to take too much. I'm tr obviously trying to marry everything up with um, just visual aids at the moment. Um, as you can see, I still to get the uh, actual. What should I say? The the actual shape this way along tapering it back through so um, that's a little way off yet but um, yeah I'm beginning to feel more confident with this already um, like I said I was a little scared that I'd actually messed it up to start with um, yeah um, as you can see I have managed to pull that back in again now I'm back to should we say a starting point to start shaping again I thought I'd lost it like I said to you but I've got something here I can start now reshaping with um, yeah so uh, don't don't ever just bin a piece of wood uh, just try to salvage it if you can even if you know you're not going to get the uh, bow out of it that you've should we say desire don't don't waste the wood um, 
like I said, I'm, I'm, I, I am proof in the pudding. Stick with it and see what you can pull out of it. So yeah, I now have something I can now start shaping again with the rasp. Um, it's not good and people will probably be laughing at this, but I've got something I can work with. And uh, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to this now. Part of the fascination with this English longbow uh, thingy uh, situation I'm got you know obsessed with here a little bit is the fact that near me there is also a place um, where <coughs> a property has been has got the name Butts in the last part of its name. Uh, I won't give the first part because obviously it's not my property, but the last part of its name is Butts. Now. Anybody that's spent any time in the military will know butts translates into an area on a shooting range where the targets are held and shall we say <clears throat> you're basically shooting down range to it. Um, now to cut a long story short um, there has been some uh, archaeological evidence of arrow heads and things found around there and due to its name and it's an ancient last part of the name butts uh, which translates into kind of like range so there's a, a strong suspicion and it has been documented in uh, local books that uh, suggested that nearby this property there was a range for Cornish longbowmen to go and practice the art of um, shooting their longbows which was a legal requirement back in those days um, so yes um, when I'm out hiking I actually walk past this uh, particular property and after reading about it in a book that also spurred me to, you know because obviously I'm walking past it and I'm thinking oh there were guys here actually firing arrows around practicing for uh, military service if they were called up so um, yeah so that's one reason and it's a fascinating well, it is a fascinating little bit of history from my local area. As you can see on this um, actual, um, well, should we say, tip of one of the arms or legs, um, I've got a few gouges there which I'm trying to work out with the rasp. They are disappearing, they were a lot worse. But obviously, it's that same thing. I've still got to be careful of the meat I'm taking from it. Um, and yet again, it's just another clear example of me rushing that first bit. And perhaps a bit more care would have saved me all this anxiety at the moment. Well, boys and girls, I've just uh, been and broke my <laughs> rasp. I really was giving it some juice. Uh, being a bit lazy, didn't take out all the um, shavings. And I busted the blade. It, it's only a blade. Still an annoyance because this is a good uh, blade. I think I've got a, a, an old one. But um, as light is beginning to go, I think I'm going to call it a day here now. And... Uh, just uh, be thankful I haven't lost this piece of wood. Um, yeah, I'm not suggesting this is going to be a good one. So please don't look at this and think I'm I'm suggesting that. But you've got to bear in mind what I'm documenting here is somebody who's just been and got a stave with the idea of doing a longbow and just basically ending up where I am now. Um, you can see there's still a few dips and that's still got to come out. But... Um, I'm going to start now slowing everything down and taking my time from here. Um, as I've got this far, and I've, as I keep mentioning, I've just pulled it back from disaster. I'm going to start bringing it all back slowly and start to uh, really um, learning to enjoy this. Uh, you know, <laughs> when you consider I was almost in tears. But hey, um, like I said, I've now got to get a new blade. Um, I'm going to pick all my stuff up, sort all this out, get a fire going indoors and call it a day. Yeah, um, like I said, uh, most people are probably wondering why I didn't show that initial putting the, um, should we say, initial measurements on the stave. Um, that was because I quite simply, as I alluded to, couldn't achieve what I was trying to achieve with this particular stave. Um, so I didn't think it would be fair to try and, you know, 
push this out there as a English longbow. It's going to be a longbow of some description, basically. I'm already feeling really chuffed to bits with where I'm at with it. But that being said, um, I've still got a long way to go. And uh, as you know, many people will right quite rightly be thinking you know don't count my chickens and i'm not i'm just sort of pleased i've got this far you know but um there is a raft of information online uh, as you can probably guess and um you know and you can get overwhelmed by the various different types of bows out there that you could possibly try and make um like i said don't get discouraged if nothing else with your piece of wood that you've probably got squirreled away that you're going to decided you're going to make a bow from just give it a go um i'm a raw amateur at this i do make hiking sticks so yes you know what i mean um i work with uh, wood and everything like that but I'm practiced I do that every day of the week so you know and there's a lot of repetition in that as well so um, doing this is something completely new in itself so yeah um, you know uh, all I want to push out there is just basically document somebody just doing a complete raw job as a, a total novice um, and having a go um, what I end up with, hopefully we will see that and hopefully we will get to a point we will see some arrows out of this. But yeah, I'm going to call it a day here so uh, I'll uh, let you see uh, where I'm to uh, when I pick this up and start it, start well having a go at taking a bit more wood off this stave.